I'm going to be taking a look at Champions Online's new auras, which they just added, to, like, today, basically, to the test server. Um, to give a brief rundown on what auras are, if you have no fucking clue, they're visual effects on your character that, you know, make you look extra fancy. Um, so there's the new aura interface in your character sheet here. You've got an auras tab. There are... Um, you, you have to unlock these, but there are four potential always-on aura slots and four potential in-combat aura slots, meaning that total you can have eight auras, four of them will always be on, four of them will always be in combat. Of course, you have to unlock all of these, and presumably that's from the Zen store, and I don't know how much that's going to cost yet. In the testing, they have like this temporary interface set up where we basically get it all for free, so I've just kind of snagged all of the auras um, both the new ones and the legacy ones, and um, since, you know, this game is basically entirely based around cosmetic shit, we're going to take a look at how all of those look like, um, change some colors a little bit, and, you know, give people a nice idea of what might be a good aura to wear or not. Uh, for this, I'm going to be using my example character here, Tidepool. He's kind of a wind gadgeteer dude, although I just... I pretend the wind is water, because I think that's more cool. But that's because I'm a, a huge fucking nerd. So let's get started here. Uh, first, we've got the Crackle Aura. So that's basically a Kirby Dots type thing. Um, let's get it a different color so you can see it a little better. Yeah, so you got some blue dots, very Jack Kirby-esque. Yeah, orange, that's probably going to be the best color to preview these, considering the color of my dude. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, there's some other variants of these, of course. Why can't I remove that? Hmm, I don't know why it won't let me take it out. Give me one second here. I'm running into a sudden issue. Oh, okay. So for some reason... Oop. I can't remove an aura unless my main inventory window is open. Even if I've got aura storage and a secondary inventory window open. That's pretty weird. Uh, I guess good to know. Um, we've got some Sparkle Auras. Uh, so this one is Sparkle Aura Feet. Um, these are not quite in order. You can't really see that one. Let me grab one of the Hand Auras instead. Um, but here we go. Crackle Aura Black on the torso. So this is like the other Crackle Aura, except it's explicitly applied to only the torso, and it's black. Now, normally with the coloring system, you can't choose black or white. You can only choose actual, like, shades of colors and stuff. And with this guy... Yeah, see, changing the color doesn't do anything because it's just a straight-up black aura. Um, but for each aura, um, other than the legacy ones, there are variants for different parts of the body. So that one's for the torso. Um, this one is for the head, if I can get it. There we go. So you can see how you could mix and match eight different ones and get some really nice effects on your characters. Um, so let's take a look at the runes aura here. Really good for some magic characters, your Doctor Strange types. Uh, let's see how well that recolors. So that, uh, it's kind of a subtle inheriting of the color. It'll tint it a, a little bit towards what you're choosing, but it's not going to be full on like that color. It's not quite as good as I had hoped with the Rune Aura. And then of course there's Feet and Hands variants. Um, so, you know, you can throw, like, a combat-only hand runes variant, and that should look pretty good for a lot of magic users. Um, and then we've got snowflake auras, so let's get the full-body one. Yeah, pretty little snowflakes. I don't know if this one is going to take color at all, so let's see. Yeah, this one just stays white, regardless of what color you put on it. Um, which makes sense, because it's snow, and I doubt they want people to have a yellow snowflake aura. Uh, da -da -da -do. What do we got here? The snowflake cloud, which is a different aura, um, which creates a larger area of snowflakes around your entire character here, rather than just the like close-up version on the torso. Now, uh, like I said, you can combine these. So you could have that one, and then also the one just like, centered on your character, kind of double up with the snowflakes, and then there are other ones here. Um, if you want to make it a little more intense, you can do their head and their hands also, and you get, like, some super snowflake action. Uh, but you, you see what I mean 
by like you can combine these effects and get some really nice looks. Pull these back off. Ooh. Sometimes it doesn't actually pay attention to me clicking. <laughs> A little unfortunate there. The Dark Aura, which is the only one of these that seems to like bind per character. Yeah, all of these other ones are bound to a count. Um, oh, actually, the legacy ones look like they are also bound per character. So the new auras bind to your account, uh, presumably because these are the ones you will be buying from the C-Store. Uh, the legacy auras bind per character. I think they are bought with uh, Question Knight. So that kind of makes sense because they want Question Knight to be a character individual resource. And then the Dark Aura here is has a purple name. I'm guessing this is the drop-only aura that you'll probably get from an enemy. And it looks pretty fucking cool. Um, I really like that one, actually. I'm not sure I've got a character that'll use it, but that looks nice. And some of these um, actually apply effects to your character's skin and not auras around them. So the Sparkle Skin one, which we've got here makes your character's model have these sparkles all over it, including, you know, extraneous things like their cape. Um, which, if you combine that with some of the uh, sparkle costume options, could actually look pretty good. Um, they gave those out as rewards for the anniversary event, I'm pretty sure, every single year. So we got sparkle skin, and there's some more crackle auras. Just show you how the hand one looks. It's a little more dense than the other ones with the uh, the crackle aura, and again, you can recolor most of these, so that looks pretty cool. Actually, I might use that in blue. Um, sparkle aura. Now this one's not the skin. This one's an aura. So if you want to be super sparkly, you can combine the aura and the skin, and that looks pretty good. Like, if you're trying to do kind of like an Emma Frost, like, diamond form look, that, that'll that work for you. Uh, I, I think these these auras, not just on their own, open up a lot of visual effects, but combining them with one another is a big thing. Now, the legacy auras are ones that you will, if you've played Champions Online, you'll recognize uh, as originally being part of powers. They used to, these used to be attached to specific abilities, uh, mostly passives, and when you activated them, they'd put this visual effect on your character. So some of these are going to be much stronger looking than the other visual effects we've looked at so far. Like this fire one um, applies kind of a glow texture to the skin of your character as well as flames around them. Um, ego form, I forget what ego form looks like. Ah, okay, so it's another like glow. A lot of these are gonna make your character themselves glow in different ways. I don't know if this one can be recolored. Okay, it can. It just doesn't inherit the color quite as well. Um, and a lot of these are so strong that you're going to want them to be combat only. Or, you know, if you've got a specific thing, like you want to have a dude made of energy, you know, give him glowing skin, give him the electric form, and, you know, you're good to go. And I'm trying to take a look at every single one of these, but that's... There's more of the legacy ones than there are of the the new ones, just because most of the new ones are variants with the head, hands, torso. Legacy doesn't have that series of variants. That one's Ebon Destruction. Here's Earth Form, uh, which is pretty cool. Like You can't really get that effect on a character normally in the costume editor, making them look like they're basically a cracked statue. That's actually super, super cool. I didn't even know that this was an effect like in the game. Admittedly, I haven't played quite as much Champions Online as I probably should have since I've got a uh, lifetime subscription, but man, living statue characters, expect to see a lot of those now, I think. Or uh, ones like The Thing from the Fantastic Four. Congress of Cells, another kind of like generic glow uh, ice form, which I remember looking cool on the power it was from. Yeah, so you... You can see this is another skin effect one. Uh, it covers your character in ice. And again, you can take this, combine it with like the snowflake cloud and the snowflake aura. And look at that. That is nice. Get you a full-on ice-themed character there. 
And that's really the impressive thing here is not just that, like, there's finally auras. You know, it took them four, three or four years. I don't remember how long this game's been out now to add auras to the game. But they made them pretty cool. Uh, this one's id mastery. Uh, again, this looks kind of like just a generic glow aura. Let's see. I know the id colors are usually like purple. That's nah, not inheriting the color very well. I have a feeling some of these might be unfinished, but I don't know for sure. Uh, and vulnerability, which is a bit more subtle of a sparkle. Um, so you can combine that with uh, perhaps the other sparkles. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, where did I put those? <laughs> the sparkle aura and where's the sparkle skin where did I put you there it is sparkle skin and I think the ice ice form would look really good with that too to make you look like you're actually like kind of made of like a, a gem so look at that that looks pretty good. Oh, zooming in got rid of the sparkles. So I guess they only show up from a certain distance. That shouldn't be a problem unless you're, like, actually playing the character and get in all close. But, like, that with the right costume, straight up, you will be a diamond form type character. Really good uh, gimmick for some invulnerability type stuff. Pull those back off. Kinetic manipulation. A very subtle glow. Uh, it'll probably look better if I change it to a different color. Yeah. That one's hard to see. Again, I can't zoom in too close or it goes away. That one's a little hard to see, but it's it's here. You can kind of see it like right along the, the arm here is the best spot. It's a really, really subtle glow. Lightning reflexes. Which doesn't seem to do anything. Let's change its color. Get something bright in there. Oh, okay. It was a soft glow around his hands for a second. Maybe it's pulsating? Yeah. So it's a soft glow around their hands every couple of seconds. That one's probably not going to see much use. It's too subtle. Uh, Way of the Warrior. So you've got kind of steam raising off of them. That might be nice for some, uh, like fiery characters or uh, magma ones or you can make it like a kind of softer blue color it might look good on characters that are supposed to be super cold uh, Stormbringer which was one of my favorites um, this was the the wind passive that my character actually has equipped right now Stormbringer right there um, I think that one looks really cool it's really unique compared to the newer ones. It's nice, like, wind effects circling around you. It's kind of subtle, but it's actually noticeable. Uh, that could combine well with some of the other weather-based ones to get kind of like a storm look. Uh, Seraphim here. Another kind of windy look. Uh, maybe you stack Seraphim with Stormbringer, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And again, you can play with colors on almost all of these. Um, the ones that are just straight up black or white cannot be recolored, but the majority of them can. Uh, regeneration adds kind of a uh, like a pulsating energy vein effect across your character, which is could be good for a number of things, actually. I, I don't have any ideas off the top of my head, but... We got Shadow Form, which is crazy looking. What is going on here? It's not playing well with my head. <laughs> but it that's doing some cool stuff to other parts of my costume. Man, what is that? Let's take that back off and put it back on. Okay, I'm going to change costumes real quick so we can see what that looks like on uh, something else. Just to get an idea, uh, let's just go with a casual look here and see if it behaves a little better with these textures. Yeah. So I guess it just changes certain parts of your costume to be dark. Um, let's try switching again. Yeah. So it doesn't touch the character's skin, it looks like. But it'll change, like, primary colors on the costume to be black and add a weird aura. Um, 
that seems like it could interact well with some costumes, but it's probably not going to play well with all of them. Um, so I'd, I'd be wary of picking that one up for your character. Uh, Medical Nanites, if I remember, is, yeah, it's very similar to Regeneration, uh, but it's got a little more going on, because these little dots flying around are supposed to be, like, Nanites healing you. Um, I find this strange that they added it as an aura, because this is not an always-on power, from what I remember. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought that was, like, one you just click and activate, and that flies around you for a bit and heals you, and then it toggles off. But I could be wrong. Uh, Pestilence. This one will probably look better if we recolor it. Get a kind of a... don't really have a dark green. There we go. So you can see it's like kind of some insects circling you. Uh, you can make that a lighter color and it kind of looks like weird snow flurries. Make it red and you almost can't tell what it is. It seems alright though. Primal Majesty... And that's got a kind of a crazy effect on it initially there, but I guess that, yeah, I liked that reality warping thing. Let's try and trigger that again. Take this guy off. Throw it back on. The kind of visual warp. I wish that was just an aura. But beyond that, it's kind of another rune aura. Torso-centric. And, of course, our final one here. Radiant Projection, or Protection, sorry. Radiant Protection. This is a very different magical-looking aura, uh, which I, I actually really like this. You could use this with some of the Sigil auras and probably get a really nice look. Let's grab one of those real quick. Where's the Runes aura? Yeah, so you throw that on with a Runes aura. And then the hand runes. Yeah. Really good magical character look there. A little busy, but... Yeah, I mean, that's basically how the auras work. Um, and what they all look like so far. Um, which I figured people might appreciate seeing. Uh, in Champions Online. A game that has surprisingly started to get development uh, again after a number of years where it's basically been on life support. Um, it's finally kind of back. They're working on significant new things. These auras should be on the live servers by the end of the year. They seem basically ready to go. I wouldn't be surprised if this patch goes up within the next week or two. Um, and yeah, other than that, that's, that's pretty much what's new right now. Um, they made some other minor tweaks to the game. If you haven't checked it out in the past couple of months and you really liked the game, like back in the day, you should probably check it out again. If you've been kind of a regular player on and off like I have, I, I come back to the game once every couple of months just because I like online superhero games and I don't have a lot else to do in terms of those now that City of Heroes has been shut down. Um... And Champions has a fantastic costume creator. But, uh, yeah, if you um, if you played the game at some point and liked it, it's worth checking out again. If you played the game and didn't like it, it hasn't really changed that much. I, I can't recommend jumping back into it if you didn't like the game in the first place. Uh, there's some cool new stuff, but it's there's not a lot of it. Um, and hopefully that'll improve. They've got a new dedicated studio working on it, Cryptic North, which is a... As far as we can tell, studio that Cryptic made specifically to make Champions Online not suck anymore. And, um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically it. I'm just going through my costumes here because I have almost nothing else to say. And uh, this should probably end the video. But look at this sweet 90s themed costume. Yeah, I got a laser shotgun and crazy glowing robot arms and... Man, 90s as fuck. Yeah. Look at that. Katana.